guys and welcome to the family fudge today I have a haul to share with you guys but it's not just food I also got some beauty items for myself so stay tuned the family fudge the family fudge they are mostly sweet but full of nuts so this haul is a little bit different because we had an unexpected need to take another road trip to Utah. I know we just got back from Utah like a week ago and we just did a big Costco haul last week. So I didn't think we would need to go to the store, but we actually ended up needing to attend a funeral in Utah. So we're gonna go back, attend the funeral, and then we're gonna stay a few extra days to do some fun activities and do some more house hunting. So we definitely needed some snacks for our trip and I also wanted to pick up a few items for myself. Let's get started. We made it to Walmart. Are you going shopping? No. No, <laughs> yes you are. Mom, what are we looking for? We need snacks for our trip, we need activities for our trip, and we need clothes for our trip. <laughs> what do you think, Lily? Oh no, the dinosaur's getting you! Oh no! <laughs> so they have these really fun Jurassic Park little, I don't know, masks? Oh my goodness. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, Kenzie's a dinosaur too! <laughs> now for our trip, I'm getting pretty tired of watching the same old movies. So we're gonna look through this area for a cheap movie. And there's one over there with DVDs for only $3.74. So let's see if we can find some new movies. So here's one the kids might actually like. 20 different episodes from PBS Kids. And here's one that I like. This one is so funny. So you like these ones the best? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty and they're on clearance. Yay! Only $7 each. <laughs> okay friends, we're back home now and today's haul is gonna be very interesting because it's not all just food and things for meals. We actually have mostly snack items for our trip. We have some clothing and then I also have quite a lot of beauty products and things for myself. So it's definitely a different haul. You guys saw us go to Walmart, and then I ran to Target and to the Dollar Tree by myself. So I'll go ahead and show you everything that I picked up. Starting in the drink section, I picked up two gallons of water. We're gonna be taking these with us on our trip to fill up our reusable water bottles. And then of course, once we get to Utah, we'll go ahead and buy more water. And then I have an assortment of interesting drinks. We have mine. I picked out these three, and these look really interesting. This one says it promotes healthy sleep. And then this one says it is energizing. So I'm not sure if there's caffeine in there or not. And then this one promotes bliss. So that just sounded really good. I've never tried these before. I have no idea if they work. Let me know if you've tried them. Tell me what you think. And then for the kids, I got them a special drink as well. I got the Moana for Lily. For Mackenzie, I got Hello Kitty. For Jackson and Griffin, I got Buzz and Woody. And then for our driver, who's gonna be driving through the night, I did pick up some caffeine. This is the new Summer Edition Red Bull. It's in the coconut berry flavor. It's actually really good. And then moving on to the food items. Like I said, this is mostly snacks. Once we get to Utah, we'll definitely go shopping and buy fruits and vegetables and things like that. But I wanted to get these and bring them with us starting with some bananas, some strawberries. I got some deli meat. This is my favorite kind, the rotisserie chicken. Yeah, definitely my favorite, it's really good. And then I also got some string cheese. This is regular string cheese, and then this one is actually a stick of Gouda cheese with a little spicy beef jerky stick. So I thought my husband would like those. I also got some good old rice cakes. I actually really like these. My favorite kind are the caramel, but they were all sold out. 
So I picked up the chocolate ones, and then these are new. They're tomato basil. I'm not sure if a savory rice cake is gonna be good, but I thought we could give it a try. And they're gluten-free, so my husband can eat them as well. Now for the kids, I picked out Pringles, which surprisingly are not gluten-free, so he can't have those. But these are their favorite flavors. We got the sour cream and cheddar and the pizza. And then I also got a bag of the roasted jumbo cashews. I got some shelled walnuts, some freeze-dried strawberry slices. I love these to snack on, they're really good. Almost like candy, but not. And then I also got lots of packaged snacks, perfect for the car. We got some of these soft-baked, filled um, granola bars, I guess. I've never tried these before, they were on sale. So it's actually a chocolate granola outside with a peanut butter filling, it looks super yummy. And then I got Miss Lily's favorite, she loves these brownie bars, but these are actually made of dates and figs, so they're a little bit healthier. And then I was happy to find these yogurt pouches on clearance. Griffin loves these, and then these look really good as well. These are the um, like breakfast biscuits in the coconut flavor. And also in the coconut, I got these little wafer cookies. Can you tell we like coconut? Yes, we do. Now if you've never tried this brand of wafer cookie before, you should, they're really good. Oh yes, and I also got some chocolate syrup, and this is definitely not for our trip, because that would be super messy in the car. This is actually for a fun challenge video that I'm hoping we have time to make before we head out of town, so we'll see. Moving back over here, I did pick up some new outfits for the kids. I, unfortunately, I didn't find anything for Jackson, but I did find these matching shirts for the girls and the matching skirts. They're still at an age where they like to match, and I think it's really cute, so I go for it. It's like a little t-shirt, and I love the colors on here, and it says, Friendship is my favorite color. I think that's such a good message. And then there's this little skirt, and these actually have the built-in shorts. We bought a lot of these last summer at Target, and they worked out really well. So I was happy to find some this year. And then for Griffin, I just got this really nice button-up. It kind of matches. So I definitely need to find something for Jackson still. Now back over here, I also have some food items, but these are not for the trip. I just thought these looked really interesting. And I do have to make a couple of lunches and dinners before we head out of town. These are the Green Giant Veggie Tots. And this one is in the broccoli cheese flavor. And this one is the sweet potato and cauliflower. So it looks like a tater tot, but there's actually veggies inside. So hopefully they'll be good. I also picked up this guy. This is cookie butter. If you've never tried this before, it is really good. I actually think I like this better than Nutella, and that is saying something because I'm a big fan of Nutella as well. All the kids like this. It's basically like a gingerbread cookie crushed up. Yeah, it's really good. One of Griffin's favorite foods. And then pretty much everything else is like beauty products and things for the trip. I did get a few things from the Dollar Tree, but I'll go ahead and show you those last. I'll start over here with these really interesting candy fidget spinners. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but yeah, it's like a lollipop that you can actually play with. So these will be good for a road trip, I think. I'm pretty sure the kids will love these. Now on to the fun stuff, the beauty products for mom, starting with these facial cleansing towelettes. I really love this pink grapefruit one. And then I was excited to give this one a try as well. This is the exfoliating towel in the peach and willow bark scent. It smells so good. Also from Target, the last of the Mickey stuff. I'm so sad to see it go. I love the Mickey stuff at Target. I went ahead and picked up three of these masks. There's one for hydrating, there's one for detoxing, and there's a charcoal one as well. And then under here, I ended up getting myself the Mickey Mouse makeup brushes. I think these are so pretty. All of my makeup brushes were getting really old and yucky, so I was excited to get those. Moving on over here, I got some travel contact solution. That's for me. I got some of these travel toothbrushes. I love these things, you guys. These are awesome for brushing your teeth on the go, especially when you're on a long trip. You don't need any water. Yeah, these are really great. I also got a Tide to Go pin. This saved, saved a shirt of Griffin's on our last trip. He spilled chocolate all over himself, and luckily I had one of these and it came right out. But I used it up, so I definitely needed to replace it. And then I got myself some new nails. I love these kiss nails. I first saw these on uh, the channel Love Meg. She uses these occasionally, and I tried them and I actually really like them. So after I get everything packed and ready to go, then I'll do my nails, because I've learned that 
If I do my nails and then pack suitcases, they don't last very long. I also got myself a travel deodorant and a travel shampoo and conditioner because this time we're actually staying at an Airbnb, which is like an apartment. And I don't think they're gonna supply things like this. So I'm bringing my own. Over here, I got some new travel toothbrushes for the kids. We had just been bringing their toothbrushes from home, but I'm excited to have a dedicated set because we are traveling a lot these days. And I like these ones because you can fold them up and keep them all clean. I also got a travel bottle of Tide. And then this, this is my new dry shampoo. I'm pretty picky about how they smell. If it doesn't smell good, I don't like to use it. But this one actually smells really good. It's in the white nectarine and pear fragrance. And of course, when we travel, I like to have some antibacterial wipes. And of course, I love these because they have Mickey on them. And these ones don't have any harsh chemicals, but they still kill germs, which I like. Moving over here, I got two new white headbands for the girls. These were only $2.50 and they're not super sturdy, so hopefully it'll last, you know, more than a week. Then I also found these blank books from the dollar section at Target. I was hoping to find more car activities, but they really were kind of sold out at my store. So I got some of these blank books for the kids to make their own stories. I think that'll be really fun for them. And then I did get some new movies. We actually found these at Walmart when we were there. This is the DuckTales. Let me know if you used to watch DuckTales back in the day. I know I did when I was a kid. And then I also got this compilation DVD and it has a lot of different Nickelodeon um, cartoons on there. So that should keep them busy in the car for a while. We are driving mostly during the night, so I don't think we're gonna need a ton of stuff. And then over here, I got myself some new masks. Now I'm not usually into masks very much, but my friend Fallon is over at the channel Moss Family TV. And so whatever she tries, I like to try. If you guys have never seen her channel, I'll go ahead and link it down below. Definitely check her out. She's one of my favorite vloggers and favorite people. So this mask is the Coconut Hydrating Mask. This one is the Vitamin C Glow Boosting Mask. And then this one is the Watermelon Glow Mask. They just all sound really good. Hopefully they will make me break out. We shall see. Then lastly from Target, I also got some tissues. I really like these round ones for in the car. They fit in my door side pocket like perfectly, so they're, they're really great for the road. And then I just got a couple of things from the Dollar Tree, starting with these smoothie bars. Now these are not for our trip, but I see my friend Fallon haul these from the Dollar Tree and she said they're super good, so I thought we could give them a try. And my store only had two, so they must be pretty popular. And I also got a little thing of paper bowls and some of this shelf-stable milk. So on our first morning when we get there, we can just have some cereal for breakfast. Okay, friends, that's everything in our haul today. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these masks before. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.